what you mean? Ay, I like honey, nothing in between. Bad little baby, they got mad overseas. Ay, she wanna go out shopping every week. Finna go, she proud of now, she rockin' double C's. Ay, the way the back came in is like a dream. Love, I'm still that fool, it with a V. What's good, YouTube? Welcome back. Another video with me, QB. As I can see, man, we're on the Amazon load once again. Once again, we're on the Amazon making money. Um, this specific load, specific load I'm doing, it was 80, about 88 miles, but um, but I don't have one of the stops. So, but since I don't have one of the stops, it's less miles. I believe it was. I believe it's like like 70 70 now and it pays uh i think 325 so decent 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 like i said decent i'm trying to get my amazon score back up as y'all already know but it's uh, it's hard i'm not gonna lie because the poking truck postal, postal truck order is barely um it barely get accepted when you have a low grade but when your grade is high best believe they gonna hit you almost every day for, for lows because that's who they go to was the people with higher scores rather than someone like me who doesn't have no score right now. So right now, right now we just, you know, we ain't taking pennies, but like we, we, we trying to get our score back up right now. But today I just wanted to talk about real quick because somebody DM me and they asked me if it is worth buying a box truck right now at this moment he didn't say in six months but he, he asked about six months but he said right now at this moment he want to know if it's a good time to invest his money and honestly i always say y'all know i always say it's always money it always will be money out here and it's always going to be money out here you just got to find a way to go get it i always been an advocate advocate saying that but honestly right now in this given moment if you're a person coming in to this truck industry with no experience, um, no connections or anything like that, honestly, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I wouldn't get a box truck right now. I'm not gonna lie to you. All the simple fact of like everything is literally messed up right now. Like, like I said, I'm all over the forums. I'm everywhere looking at information almost every day, and then everybody is complaining about rates, about Amazon about everything and starting off new as you know a lot of brokers if you go to low board route which 99% of people do because they don't have no connections if you go to low board route a lot of a lot of brokers is not even gonna you know a lot of brokers not even gonna work with you to you about 90 days in 180 days in so it's like it's very hard to find lows that way unless you know you go T, um tql which is like the general, you know, broker that everybody go through when they knew and they're terrible. So it's like, you're gonna be very limited. And then I just know Amazon, Amazon changed their guidelines as well. Now you have to be 180 days in before you even do Amazon Relay. And Amazon Relay was really, you know, a good Kickstarter, you know, where you can find loads worth your time in certain areas, of course. But Amazon was really a Kickstarter for a lot of people, boxer business, because at the end of the day, if you don't find a load anywhere anywhere else, you'll find it on you'll get some on Amazon. It might not be what you like or what you want, but it gets you rolling to make a little bit of money. Now you can't even do that. So right now, I, I would say you know, I would say you know, just save your money. Uh, just save your money right now, guys. I know you see me in the box that you see what I, I'm having to do, but you know, I, I it's not easy for myself as well. Definitely not easy for me. I'm in the same boat as a lot of people. If I didn't have other streams of income and this truck was the only way I made money, I'll be hurting right now. I'm not gonna lie, cause me, as a person, I don't do any load just cause I need money. I'm not gonna take it. If it's not benefiting me or my business, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna take the load. And a lot of people have to have to realize that like you're honestly losing money by taking these loads, bro. And you're doing the loads for free and you're putting money in other people's pockets so right now at this moment bro if i was new coming in like i said man i might i might i wouldn't buy a box truck right now i'll wait a little bit uh you know six months from now it might be a little different you know you never know six months from now it's not going it is going to be different actually i'm not going to say it might 
it is going to be different because like i said people are going out of business left and right right now and like i said freight always needs to be moved so it's bad that people are going out of business but but you know it happened so you really can't be mad at anything you just gotta do do your due diligence do your business bro me personally i don't do low board loads no more because honestly I'm, i don't have time to sit on the low board every day and and, and try to look for for loads bro honestly it, it, it's too much to be sitting on loads all day looking for a load and you know they don't pay anything that's my thing bro they don't they literally do not pay anything at all so it's literally you're working you're working for free bro and that's what it would come down to if you're doing these loads for a dollar a mile dollar fifty cent a mile bro you're literally working for free and i like it like i said bro it's hard out here for me i'm not coming on here saying i'm making a whole leap of money because i'm not making it right now like i'm glad like my local routes i do they're beneficial but you know i i, I struggled at one point not too long ago with this business and you know it is what it is but i'm gonna pick this camera back up after i drop these pallets From different influencers all over the internet like bro honestly like it, now is not the time to get in and I'm, I'm i'm trying to really save people from struggling if you're one of those people who gotta spend their last to really get out in this industry and, and be your own boss and make your own money i wouldn't right now isn't a time for you like if really like it, it, it gets crazy because a lot of people will tell you like there's money to be made which there is but they're not going to tell you that it takes a couple of months of just learning the business to actually be able to generate consistent income right now my income is not really consistent because um i have like i know i have a contract during the day and i have you know amazon at night you know i can always pick loads from but even with that it's slow right now even for the contract side of things so i'm not really working for the contract as much as i, I would like so that takes in and take that into consideration even when you come out here and you got something good going for yourself you know at any given moment things could change so i wouldn't really try to rely on one source of income especially when you get in this business because things i'm telling you right now if i get in here and it may be people who are already in the business and you're watching the video comment like let them know like it, it, it is rough out here like we're in a box truck we're in box truck 24 26 foot we're in box trucks and we're and 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 look how things are even the semi trucks semi trucks are on in the same boat too with these brokers bro so if a semi truck that has a 53 foot trailer is struggling to you know find good paying loads what makes you think a box truck is any different and we're and we're way smaller we're on a way smaller scale than a semi truck we're all struggling in this industry right now like like honestly like like i always say the first couple months is really just learning the business learning how to be profitable learning whatever you like to do local otr whatever it is it's all about learning and nine times out of ten the people i talk to like most people don't even want to go otr you want to remain local and be home every day that's even harder it's easier to get an otr load than it is to find local routes consistently unless you get a contract or find a direct local shipper that you could do work from other than that like it's very 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 hard in the beginning i try to you know find local work on the low boards but you know it, it really it's it's really hard on the low board because thousands got realized especially where i'm at in atlanta there's thousands 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 of other people 
looking for the same local loads as you on the load board. So when you call the broker and be like, hey, I see this is, load is going 20 miles, I'll do it for $300, 350 And you know, somebody else called the same broker and they do it for $200, you're not going to get the load. So it's really fighting for loads on the load board and you're going to get, trust me, trust me, trust me, trust me. You're going to get underbidded. They're going to get underbidded. Same way a low could be posted for $300, and it's sad to say, but a low could be posted for $300. I mean, sorry, a low could be going 300 miles and be posted for $400. And you call and be like, hey, can I get $200, uh, $2 a mile? And they tell you no, somebody took it for $400. It's like, it's real out here. So I wouldn't even want y'all to come out here and put your eggs all in one batch. I mean, I did, but right now, at this moment, do not come in here with all your eggs in one batch and, and, and just wing it. You have to have a plan if you're gonna come out here. Trust me when I say that. You gotta have a plan of already making money before you start making money. And that might go over some of you guys' heads, but trust me when I say, you have to know how to make your money before you make the money. Don't come out here winging it on a low board because people tell you that's, the way to go that's really not the way to go bro because you rely on that low board you will be stuck i'm telling you and i don't know why this light is taking two years to change uh, like i say i'm always transparent with you guys about getting in the business whether there's money to be made or not um as it's coming in i don't like everybody like i said everybody financial um financial situation is different as you as you're a person with multiple streams of income you'll be able to survive because you won't need as much as someone who needs to work every day uh, and and that's just the truth that's just the truth if you're someone who needs to get in this box truck every day to support your family it's going to be hard to someone who who, who could say no to loads it's going to be harder because at the end of the day you have to work you have to make money and like you know you more likely you're, you're more likely to take that garbage load when you, you know you have to work and you have to make money and it's, it's sad to say but it's the truth it's the truth so like like i said anyone anybody who get in this business anybody who gets in this business they're going to take a garbage load once in a while you're going to do it it happens yeah everybody if you if you see somebody get on this on these apps whether it's youtube Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram. If you see that they say they only take high paying routes, I mean high paying loads, and they, and they make X amount of money all the time, they're lying. They're lying. They're lying, and I'm gonna be the first person to tell you that they're lying. It's so easy to believe stuff on the internet rather than doing your research, but I'm telling you right now, they're lying. We all took a garbage load before. We all took a load that we're not proud of. And that's that's this is business. Every week is not going to be a high paying week. One week you make make five thousand dollars. Next week you make make two thousand fifteen hundred. Like things change so often in this business. It's not this is not consistent at all, bro. This is this trucking space is not consistent unless you make it consistent. You have to have multiple ways of getting money. Like I said, me personally, I can do Amazon, I could do a contract. If things are bad, I might download DAT. I doubt it, I'm gonna download DAT back, but I might download it back and, and, and look on that. Because at the end of the day, if I need money, if I'm in need of money, I, I'll go OTR, I'll go somewhere and, and come back. And you gotta have that mindset when getting in these trucks. If you're not able to really put your business on the line and go OTR when you know things aren't looking too good, then this business is definitely, not, definitely, definitely not for you. You got to step outside of your comfort zone in order to maintain your business. And I want to get you guys to know that. So, you know, like I said, right now in this moment, as of what's today's date, March 31st, 2023, QB recommends you do not get in this business right now, bro. Let the die, let the the hype is dying tremendously fast now. The whole trucking space in general the hype is dying down so i'll wait till it fully dies out to start to, to for people to start realizing this is not a game like this industry is serious and, and people you know start taking it more serious than anyone who just jump up 
and trying to be a boss, trying to be an owner operator that never had any experience before and just think like they could just take any load they want. When those people are gone and things die down and the rates, you know, even out, the rates are, are, ain't ever going to be like it was during COVID. But it 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 ease out to where you know you'll get on a low boy and you see multiple decent loads. That's all we can ask for. Cause right now you go on a low boy, all you see is garbage. So I mean, when it evens out and we see good loads, good paying loads, I to say, consistently then you know we'll be straight. Then you know you guys could jump in and, and try to make some money. But right now, bro, I, I don't see it. I don't I don't see it. Like there's no reason I should go on a low board and see a load. I don't care how many feet of, of it, I don't care how much it weighs. There's no reason why it should be posted for 30 cents a mile. Like what? And then they're gonna say, well, partial it out, find some partials. Well, there's no guarantee you're gonna find a partial going that way. You will have to drive here and there along the way to find a parcel to bring. That's too much work, bro. It's too much work. And trust me when I believe the brokers got that money, that money to send that all the way over. Trust me. Trust me. They have the money to send it over, bro. So, like I said, take everything, like I said, take everything I say with a grain of salt. If you don't believe me, you don't believe me. But like I said, I'm a very advocate for, you know, for everyone else, bro. For everyone who's not in the industry and trying to get in the industry. I'm an advocate for you guys. I'm not gonna lie to you guys and tell y'all I'm making $5,000 a week when I'm not. I'm not gonna tell you the business is booming when it's not. Like there should not be one content creator, one influencer telling you that you should jump in the business right now at this moment because you're gonna make a whole bunch of money as soon as you get in not happening right now i'm telling you not happening around right now if they tell you that they're lying i'm sorry if they tell you that they are really lying just look around bro look around on youtube there's barely any box truck creators like that anymore you know it really died down phased out because the love wasn't genuine like i said i'm gonna get into that i'm definitely gonna get into that um next video the video after that about you know youtube content creators because i see my um how Hot Shot Benny, a person I watch on YouTube, he talked about it, so I'm gonna give my two cents on it as well, but yeah. If I think about something else to say throughout this video, I'll pick the camera back up, but you know, we got 32 minutes till we drop this off. Let's go.